Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is brought to you by the question from Kevin on the Slack group. How do you capture and organize notes on ideas, especially the smaller, more random bits? So I spent about uh, three months trying to develop the perfect Zettelkasten system. It was uh, one of my 12-week year focuses. As I was doing that, I realized eventually that I don't really need a perfect Zettelkasten system. I don't need a system that's going to essentially be an AI that writes articles for me. What I decided I needed was two things. One was a kind of a place for everything and everything in its place. I wanted to know where to find stuff when I wanted to do some more development work on stuff. Also, I wanted to have a collection of key thoughts that I wanted to remember regularly. and a set of mechanics or tools that I could use uh, that I wanted to refresh my memory on regularly. So those are two things, place for everything, everything in its place. Uh, so just a, a place that I knew I could send things to that when I needed them, I could go and find them there. Uh, and then uh, kind of a, a memory trigger log. So let's jump in. So the key components here are this capture log right here is where I end up capturing things and from there I send them to the place I have for them. So let's jump to that place. Here we go. It's over here in my knowledge lab and it's this taxonomy node. Uh, this system is uh, thanks to Aaron Lawson. After working for three months myself, I, I almost got here but didn't quite get to what I needed uh, and then my buddy Aaron uh, showed me how he did I'm like that's what I need right there that's that's what I am gonna do so I converted all my systems into this system so essentially over here in my capture log if a thought comes if I read a blog post if I have a thought myself if I'm reading a book if I see a video I want to capture that I have a process to capture it and then send it where I want it to go um, and that is over to this taxonomy node. So here is a collection of a fairly comprehensive collection of all the things I'm interested in. All the topics that over the last 49 years have kind of crystallized into the, the kinds of things that I think about. For example, ran across this quote in the American Conservative. Social, social science in many ways depends on moral philosophy. In deciding how to measure causation and what to control for, you're making judgments about which causal mechanisms you are willing to consider and which situations you consider equivalent. That's a deeply fascinating thought in an arena that I'm interested in. So I want to capture that. I'm going to uh, copy that. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to trigger a new Zettelkasten. I'm going to drop it down here. Causation and equivalency. I don't know if that's how you spell it. It's not. Thank you. Spell check. I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to paste the content. Uh, I'm going to paste the source. I'm going to create a unique identifier, which I just type in now, and that's my unique identifier. All right, so once I've captured that, now I need to decide what do I, where do I want to send this to? and I use backlinks to do that. So anything that's in my taxonomy node starts with hashtag TT just so I know it's different than anything else in my workflow. That's that's the destination. Um, because I might have I may have other things that have the same word and I don't want to get confused. So I'm going to send that to uh, philosophy uh, hashtag TT decision making. And that's it. Okay, so what that, what that lets me do is uh, capture these fragments of thoughts and send them to where I think I may use them in the future. So then if I have something I'm working on, so for example, I'm uh, working on something in the uh, realm of fractal, so I can drop into and go and find my fractal node. Okay, and there's three backlinks. Um, uh, so I can now go and review things that I've written, things that uh, I've captured from other other people. So if I was going to do some incremental development in my thinking on fractals, I could continue to build on that. 
and sometimes I'll actually come into a node and actually do some work. I'll actually do some writing, do some development work there. Um, and that's all I need. I just want to be able to be able to go and find those things when I want them. I want them to kind of collect there for future reference, for future need. Um, so that's one thing. That's my Zettelkasten system. Also, occasionally I'll run across a thought that is a key thought that produces a, a result in, in how I think or influences something if I when I'm thinking it uh, kind of creates a particular state so I've captured those here and this is something I'll just go through about once a month and just read through it that's all um, to make sure that uh, I have these thoughts fresh in my mind um, and it's very simple and there's like behind these words or phrases is a lot of deep meaning for me um, and so what I have that there for is I'll read through it and then I'll just kind of sit and think, are any of these thoughts, things that I want to incorporate into something I'm currently pondering, making decisions about, struggling with? Um, do I need to add some of these thoughts into that situation? Uh, and then I have something I call my mechanics vault. These are things that just work for me or have worked for me um, to produce motivation, to drive productivity. Um, to help me think a certain way and so again these are things that I can just go back and review about once a month and those have been captured uh, over the years and so again that the mechanics vault is something that uh, I'll review and just think is have I forgotten any of these things that I need to be remembering and incorporating into my daily life or my weekly life um, so occasionally I'll add to that um, so yeah that's pretty much my system for capturing things um, so that they don't get completely lost um, and no longer are, are useful. So there you go Kevin, that's how I do it. Um, been doing that roughly this way for almost a year now and uh, works for me. Hopefully that's helpful.